Hi there Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in, I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at September 21st through September 27. This is one of those weeks when I think come Sunday night we're all going to be like thank goodness that is over. It's one of those weeks when there's a lot happening and Mercury is retrograde so there's not much we can do about shifting and changing gears, we just have to you know go along with the flow and speaking of the flow there is a supermoon in Aries on Sunday the 27th and that is going to be a supermoon total lunar eclipse full moon and it's going to be a massive full moon and it's going to have a very strong gravitational force and it's going to be in your third house of conversations and communications. So if you feel yourself about to say something that you know is going to set off a hornet's nest or could cause upset or may not come out so well because remembering Mercury is retrograde in Libra and the Sun moves into Libra, your fellow air sign, try not to say it. It's a really intense supermoon and it's the time the timing is everything when you're about to say to someone, hey, you did this, you said this, this is how I feel. So it might not be the right time for that. So just keep that in mind. Now with Libra and Mercury retrograde in Libra, your ninth house of higher education, overseas travel, philosophy, it is a good time for you to be reading, researching, rediscovering your favorite TV shows or going on Netflix and watching reruns. Remembering Mercury retrograde, it's all about the RE retrograde which means review, re retake, reevaluate, you know things like that. Any word with RE starting the word is to do with Mercury retrograde. It's not a time to be pushing forward with new projects. It's a time for you to simply sit back and let things evolve the way they want to evolve because no matter what you do, it's going to work out the way the universe wants it to work out anyway. And over the weekend with that supermoon, with that gravitational force, some of you really may feel like you've got vertigo or you're hungover when you're, you're not or you're dehydrated and that always leads to you feeling a bit snippy and if that's the case Aquarius you need to maybe spend the day on your own, spend the day with people that you know you can be snippy with if necessary and they're going to be fine about it or find an outlet that allows you to you know work all that steam off now Pluto, which is the planet of regeneration, recycling, rebirth, has been out of phase for five months in your 12th house of past karma and subconscious and it's moving forward this week after a five month retrograde. Pluto in direct motion signals a slow, unconscious and gradual return to peace and prosperity in personal economic and political arenas so that will be good that's on the plus side and Mars and Saturn get into a conflict later in the week and it's definitely not a time to try to solve any problems with Mars and Saturn in this square off all the exits are blocked and it's definitely a time when the problem solving needs to be put on hold until Mercury moves direct which is going to be October 9. But keep in mind you've got to check out that super moon this weekend. Have a great week, great speaking to you and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.